I'm Alex and this is Justin and we've taken time out of our working lives in Sydney to travel to some of Australia's most remote and beautiful places in our modified four-wheel drive and we're filming our adventure along the way. Cool. Jesus. We're back on our own now. Lost yep. Nick and Bianca. We left them at Darwin. Did we... some admin. We got our car regoed. It only took two attempts. Yep. Backed around in Darwin. Now we're found ourselves at Bitter Springs. Yes, we're in Mataranka and Bitter Springs. And then we're going to head over towards Lorella. No, Limon. Through Limon. Yeah. So um, it's been saying on the website that it's still closed, it's expected to open mid April. Bearing in mind we're almost in June. So I called up the National Parks and they're like, oh, it should be open. And um, just keep an eye on the website, I'll call the Ranger. Next day, website also is open. Yeah. So right. we're heading there. Um, so yeah, Bitter Springs, then Mataranka Matara Springs, and then we'll work out which one's best. I reckon Bitter may be better. I reckon it'll leave a bitter taste in my mouth. Oh, ha, ha, ha. But yeah, we'll go explore. So Bitter Springs was named by Stephen King, a worker on the Overland Telegraph Line in 1871, for the bitter taste of the water. Did you taste the water? No. John Anderson Gilruth thought of the name might put people off this land that he hoped to make a major agricultural centre, so he renamed the area Mataranga. Run away. Hilarious. So we made it in. We're gonna float all the way down. Got a nice backrest. Chill. <laughs> Are they talking to you? A lady's trying to swim after us. She wants the floaties. Yep. But it's like what? 30 odd degrees in here, I reckon? I've got absolutely no idea. <laughs> oh god. It was peaceful. Well, how would you rate Bitter Springs? Yeah, it was a warm spring, very clear, lots of weird algae, some cool logs to sit on and swim under. I reckon that's our best hot springs, yeah. Yeah, it's probably the clearest water. Clearest yeah, water, it's probably the cool. warmest water. Had a good flow to it, 300 litres per second. I don't really know what I that means. I the sign. Um, but yeah, really good, really cool underwater. Hopefully we got some bubble shots and we've shown you them by now. If not, we didn't get any good ones. And one drone shot. One drone shot. But we're now off to Mataranka Thermal Pools, which is just down the road. And we'll see how they compare. Compare the pair.
走啊，往回走啊。What is he doing? I modified my Cobra to be a proper wide brim. Oh. So pretty different to bitter. Very busy. Very busy. Probably won't spend a huge amount of time in here. If you're a time poor traveller, would say visit Peter Springs. Malarang is still cool, and you still can stay cool. here. Um, but it's more of a swimming pool, so if you don't like bugs and algae, come here. If you like nature, go to the other one. Justin's trying to show off the haircut that I horrendously did to him. Um, so yeah, we'll probably chill here for a little bit, have lunch, and head on to Limin. Yep. Yeah. So we decided a bitter is definitely better. Join us next time as we head to Lima National Park and explore both the western and southern lost cities. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.